I'm Audra Brown at the Center for Addiction and Mental Health, and here in this building is a room that many people don't know exists at CAMH. Hi, welcome to Suits Me Fine. What is it for? Why should CAMH have a clothing store? Well, our, our clients are stigmatized when they go out there. So we are making it more humane and more comfortable that when someone come for a pair of pants or a top or have a job interview to go to, uh, we don't judge. That's something that Val found out firsthand when she was a client at CAMH five years ago and got a new start by coming into this very unique store. Coming in, I was in re rehab and so you never learn to ask for things. So to have to see that people were willing to help you mm -hmm. and you didn't have to pay any money for it and you had no money and they, were, they treated you like you, you were just a normal person with respect. Val says that chance to come in and not only get new clothes, but also respect and the feeling of dealing with the outside world gave her back first a piece of independence. When you change the way you, your peer, you, you look, the change of clothing, it makes you feel different about yourself, it gives you more confidence. And then a path for her future. It kind of broke my heart that, and made me realize that I wasn't alone anymore. While no money is exchanged in the store, clients are awarded points that they can trade in for clothes. This assists with learning to budget. They get 100 points and with that they come in and they are able to take us what they need. So this helps them to budget, you know, um, when they go out there in the real world. It helps you to put that your addiction or whatever other issues you have to the, it's in the past now. So much so that Val now works at the store as a volunteer. Current clients will be strutting their stuff in an annual fashion show this week in support of the Suits Me Fine store. Well, to find out how you can help through donations, you can go to our website, citynews.ca slash extras. At CAMH, Audra Brown, City News.